Hello and welcome to episode 12 of season 3, Mediumship Mini. Hey, how are you doing? So um, I'm jumping up the list of questions. Please don't be offended if you are waiting for an answer, but I just felt like this one for Sarah needed answering sooner rather than later because she is in physical discomfort. So, hi Hannah. I was wondering if I could ask your opinion on healing yourself. I've been on my spiritual journey for 15 months and have a keen interest in mediumship, energies and healing. I've recently completed my level one Reiki and have noticed I'm suffering with pain in a couple of places, teeth and gums being the worst. A thought occurred to me this morning, or rather a download from my guides, that before I can progress confidently on my journey, I need to work hard on my own healing. So I'm taking these random pains as perhaps a release of things that needed healing. I know you'll probably say see a dentist, <laughs> which of course I intend to, but was wondering if physical pain during healing could be related to letting things go. Could I have your thoughts on this during a podcast, perhaps, please? As an avid listener slash learner and number one fan, oh, I'd be eternally grateful for any guidance, Sarah. So um, I hope you're a Sarah and not a Sarah. Apologies if you are a Sarah whose name is spelt Sarah. <laughs> it's a complex thing. So Sarah, Sarah, absolutely physical pain can be a physical manifestation of energy changes, imbalances, things that we need to work on. Absolutely. And um, I've got to say, it's a little surprising to me that your Reiki master who taught you didn't mention it <laughs> because it's pretty important to know. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. And I will say this. Anyone that goes on a Reiki course needs to understand that if they want to heal other people, they have got to work on themselves first. It always makes my heart sink when you uh, do a Reiki course and on the Monday you see somebody that was on it who's opened up their business to take clients in. And I'm not saying you're doing that, Sarah. I'm just saying it's, it's something that does happen and you can't stop people from doing it, but equally it's hard. Now, I know that some teachers overcome this by talking about the 28-day healing cleansing cycle but then I don't agree with that either oh I'm pain aren't I um because I think that healing is a lifetime's work I absolutely do so I feel uh looking into the energy that you are messaging me from that there is actually um some resistance in here and, and I think you might be grinding your teeth or biting down on them in some way because I'm really feeling like that I want to be like that when I'm talking to you so I think there's some energy in there of resistance or perhaps anger and uh, frustration. And that is not judgy, spiritual, oh, you've got anger, please sort out your energetic field shiz like you see banded about. But actually just that there needs to be an acknowledgement here. And um, I feel that there's something going on with that with you. So... Yes, absolutely. When you do your Reiki qualification, I always view it, and I've probably mentioned the staircase before, but I'm going to mention it again. As we go on a spiritual development journey, we are going up steps on a staircase. That's how I always view it. And as we go upstairs, when we take that leap into a new energy, we go up a step. We take that step to take that step. Oh, good. We find that in that new frequency of energy, there are certain things that we need to deal with to sit in that frequency comfortably. Now, we are always the ones in choice. So we can decide to ignore this and go back down to the step that was comfortable. But that is why the mediumship spiritual development journey is always about pushing through your limitations, pushing through the resistance, pushing through your discomfort. So... When you have a Reiki attunement, you open up with intention to a big change in your energy body. That's what an attunement is. It's a movement of frequency of vibration. So you, rather than going up one step at a time, will have gone up five steps in one go, possibly more. And so you're going to have a 
bigger reaction from your physical and energetic and emotional states following your Reiki attunement. I always say to people um, that it will be like PMS uh, as well because you'll be very you'll be riding high one moment and then you'll be very emotional and sad the next moment you may overreact you may snap at people I have been a right miserable bitch to my husband when I've had a Reiki achievement (laughs) not every time but I have and he's been there blinking going I thought this course would make you happy and I'm like it will but in the meantime I'll stab you in the eye and uh, there's all sorts of things that happen to us as we process the shift in our energy as we process the change in our energy and that's okay so again um, I would accept that I agree with you completely this is about healing yourself this is about understanding the healing process so we go on a Reiki course we get all this information about healing works and we understand it as an intellectual concept now joy of joys you get to experience it as a physical concept you get to integrate that lesson into your physical being and you get to integrate that into your energy being and you get to um, integrate it into your emotional being and your mental it's everywhere it's holistic so um, that's what's going on with you obviously I do say please still go see a dentist (laughs) but um, yeah I think there's some stuff that needs to It's like you want to say things, but you're stopping yourself saying them, so you're gritting your teeth. And actually, some of these things need to be said. And that's how it feels to me. And that will just help you. And as a reminder, sometimes these are things we need to say to ourselves. So I'm big on, um, at the moment especially, I don't know, the poor ladies on my retreat at the weekend, I was like, get on with it, do as you're told. This is what I want. What is wrong with you? Why can't you do it? Because I have no trouble now in expressing my needs. Well, at this moment, I might take it away from myself again, but I bloody love the energy I'm in. I was like, yes, Hannah, tell them, be the teacher. Um, And sometimes that has to come from an internal thing first. Sometimes it's the stuff we're wanting to say to ourselves that we are ignoring or not looking at. I hope that this helps. It's a process. And like I said, it's an ongoing thing, healing. You will be healing yourself forever. Um, But as you do, it will become easier and you will be at a higher vibration and you will have put down the things that on your step that you find yourself standing right now are not compatible and there will be a time of ease on that step before you decide to move yourself onto the next one, which is another reason why I don't think anybody should do uh, several Reiki courses in one weekend. I know some people love as a badge of honour to say, Hannah, I did one, two and three in one weekend or one week course. Look at me, I've jumped up 20 steps because you need to have the integration. You need to sit in the new energy that you are and meet yourself anew and find yourself anew. And don't get caught up in, now I'm Reiki, I'm spiritual, so therefore I won't get pissed off because if there's anything I have found on my spiritual journey, it's that the more I have done, the more vibrational changes I have been for, through the less sufferance for shit and people trying to overcome my very clear boundaries and barriers I have (laughs) Um, which in turn weirdly makes me more confident makes me happier to say no and although it might come across as fiery that's uh, to quote Linda from the weekend course that's a you problem because if you can't respect my boundaries and the fact that this is how it is and this is what I want from you And if you want to be taught by me, I expect you to pay attention and stuff like that. Then you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be signing up with me. I don't want to work with people like that. And I have no problem with it. And in life going forward, I, I am calm and I can give people space. But if they take the piss, I will let them know. And this feels like a better and more natural place to be. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen for you, Sarah, because I think if you let that uh, lion roar, 
you'll find that that energy in your teeth dissipates and also you feel clearer and stronger and freer and you come back to who you always were all along. Hope this helps and uh, thanks for being my number one fan. (laughs) I'll catch up with you again soon.